A license, is a time-limited right to use Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud, granted under the End User License Agreement. The following license types are provided, Trial License, free license intended for trying out Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud. A trial license usually has a short term. Commercial License, paid license granted upon purchase of Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud. You can purchase a commercial license on the Kaspersky Lab website or from a partner company of Kaspersky Lab. When a commercial license expires, you must purchase another license. Subscription, paid license granted upon purchase of Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud. You can purchase a subscription only from a partner company of Kaspersky Lab. A subscription can be automatically renewed. In this case, you get continuous protection of your devices. You can also opt out of a subscription. If a partner company of Kaspersky Lab provides this option, you can suspend and resume a subscription. Both commercial and subscription licenses can have a grace period. This is a period of time after a subscription expires during which Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud continues to work in fully functional mode. Starting from version 8.0, Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud uses a new licensing model. The product changed from per-device licensing to per-user licensing. For each user, Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud can now protect one desktop, laptop, file server and two Android or iOS mobile devices. A user considered as a licensing unit is not the same as a user added to the management console. An actual user can own more than the above mentioned number of devices, or, there can be devices without assigned owners. In either case, these devices will be protected. The number of users of a license depends on the number of protected devices, and the number of users is calculated as the larger value between the total number of desktops, laptops, file servers and half of the total number of Android or iOS mobile devices. The maximum number of nodes that can be protected by a Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud license is 999. Technically, the 999 node limit means that Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud server does not permit connecting more than 999 devices to a workspace. Monthly subscription is available for MSPs and customers with limited budget. A license can either be time limited, for example, 1, 2 or 3 years, or subscription. The available license type depends on the reseller and region. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud is different from Kespi. A Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud license is not related to Kespi licenses in any way. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud uses only activation codes, it does not technically support key files, unlike Kespi. Kaspersky Small Office Security Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud and Kaspersky Endpoint Security Business plus KSC, are absolutely different, different applications, and different approaches to remote management. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Server and Kaspersky Security Center are also widely different. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud requires only registering with the cloud, while Kaspersky Security Center presumes that the customer deploys the Kaspersky Security Center Administration Server. That is why migration between these solutions must start with preparing the management center onto which you are going to migrate, signing up for Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud or installing and configuring the Kaspersky Security Center Server and Console. You can export settings from the local interface of Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Windows, which then can be imported to the Kaspersky Security Center policy. The network agent in Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud is not the same as the Kaspersky Security Center network agent and must be reinstalled. However, Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Windows is the same. If necessary, you can preserve it. Migrating macOS computers is the same as Windows ones, only that you cannot export settings from the local interface. Mobile devices can be migrated only by complete reinstallation of the MDM profile on iOS and KSM on Android. The only advantage is that they can be remotely uninstalled using Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud and Kaspersky Security Center equally. Next part describes Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud from the viewpoint of a person who deploys Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud at a company. In our demonstration scenario we use the UFA.pet company. There are about 10 computers Windows and Mac OS, mobile devices including smartphones and tablets, which are not joined into a single network. On some computers, there are no antiviruses, only Windows Defender. Nobody pays special attention to protection. What does the administrator want the IT infrastructure of a FA.pet to be? 
the administrator wants a single management console where protection status of all computers is displayed, where viruses have been detected, where protection is not running for some reason, where the databases are outdated. The administrator can adjust protection settings for all computers at once using the same console.